Hello everyone, welcome to VMware Arena YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see uh, what are the some of the initial steps which we need to configure before we create the first virtual machine on the ESXi host. So in the previous video, we have seen how to install and configure ESXi. The configuration includes the IP settings such as host name, IP address, DNS settings and uh, some of the service configuration including uh, how to enable SSH on the ESXi host and all these things. We also seen some of the uh, uh, you know like management service restart other options so if you didn't watch this video please do watch i'll just put it in the uh, card description card you can find that video so in this video uh, we'll see how to configure esxi so once the esxi configuration is done so we can manage the esxi from the web browser which is something called the esxi host client so we can access the https host name or ip address to access the host client Let's get started. Okay. So as I said, once the ESXi IP address and host name is configured, so we can access the ESXi host from the web browser. Just type HTTPS IP address of the ESXi host. We can also type the host name if you have a DNS, proper DNS configured. So enter the IP address and uh, we have to log in with the root credentials which we have set during the installation. So this is the host client login page. Type the root as a username. And type the password for the root user account. Click login. So this is the uh, host client of ESXi. So it shows welcome to the host. So we have uh, many options such as like uh, um, it shows all the information about CPU, memory, what is the virtual, uh, what are the adapters, is there any virtual machines. We have option to shut down, restart and many actions like create or register a virtual machine then uh, how to configure the ESXi services such as SSH, NTP services, all these things. Then enter maintenance mode is nothing but uh, when you performing some maintenance on the hardware or you are performing and patching, you can place this host into maintenance mode so that virtual machine running here will be migrated to the other ESXi host using the vMotion that are all available with the cluster features. So we'll talk about that in the upcoming uh, video series. Uh, so this is the host client and uh, basically uh, it gives all the information. So before we create on the virtual machine, let's understand the basics of it. So imagine I have uh, one computer or laptop, whatever it is, okay. Uh, so to install an operating system in your hardware or, or like any desktop or lap uh, laptop, anything is fine. So what are the things which is needed, right? So first thing, um, is a um, disk right you need a disk for the operating system to be installed on there so it needs some space right so we need a disk and so that in the disk we will be installing the operating system so all the operating system files will be sitting on the disk and it creates a partition on the disk so that we can create a folders and files on the disk imagine like c drive okay so when we install the windows it will be created with the c drive something like that i'm just going with the basic example uh, let's drag this this side okay okay now it's fine so is that only disk is enough to install an operating system no we need a compute right we need a compute resources and we also need a, a network, right? So if you want to access an internet or if you want to talk to the another computer um, in, in the network, so we have to reach the other, uh, we have uh, the host also needs to be reached from the other computer as well, right? So what is needed? We need a network adapter. So there will be a network adapter or Wi-Fi, uh, you know, like adapter in your laptop or a desktop. So from there, we will connect the uh, cable from the network adapter and the cable will be connected to switch or hub. Again, the same uh, other server will also be connected so that it establish communication with other uh, servers or other uh, desktop or laptop, right? 
so what we needed here is network adapter or network card whatever it is so we may also need a switch or hub because like if you only having network adapter how does you talk to other uh, computers right so we need to have a switch or hub where our computer or laptop will connect so that it can reach to the other uh, servers which is there and what is what else right so we need a cpu and memory because without cpu and memory uh, we cannot install operating system or anything right so it, it needs a compute or maybe like a cd dvd drive so if you are installing an operating system on the physical machine um, or your laptop you need a cd or dvd drive uh, with the, your operating system image so that you know like you can install the um, operating system and uh, if you have any additional disk this is not a mandatory so if you are if you want to create an additional uh, you know like drives in your windows machine you can have a multiple uh, disk so that we can create a multiple partition and assign it to the operating system and we can install the uh, additional applications on the new drives or anything right which is apart from the os disk so basically we need a network adapter card, we need a CPU and we need a memory, all these things. We, we understand the basics of how, what are the things which is needed for installing any operating system. Let's apply the logic in ESXi host. So this is imagine this is a uh, physical server. Uh, you have a network adapter. You have a NIC card, a same like your laptop. Okay. And it will be having one uh, local disk okay let's type uh, local disk disk okay disk attached to your server uh, let's consider the local disk and we need a cpu it's not a memory it's cpu and uh, you may have uh, let's say physical dvd cd dvd drive for installing your operating system cd okay so we attach the um, image esxi image imagine we attach a esxi iso images or cd drive images to the cd drive and we install the esxi on the local disk so the local disk will be partitioned to the vmfs file system and it creates the uh, esxi local disk it partition the local disk and it creates something called data store so in the esxi world in the vmware world the the storage whatever storage which uh, esxi installed or the storage where your virtual machines will be storing is referred to as a is referred as a data store so there are different type of uh, data store we can create from the various storage types the one will be local data store uh, which is like disk locally attached to your server like let's say local disk so we can also create an uh, other data store like uh, from the sand storage so let's imagine uh, your storage admin allocates on LAN, uh, LAN a storage from your sand storage which is a shared storage and we can also um, create a data store from a nas storage or nfs and it also supports iscsi and other data store is other data store type is vsand data store so in this video we are not going to target more about vSAN data store because vSAN data store is something an entirely different concept so uh, it may be confusing at this time so let's not talk about uh, vSAN data store so these are all the we, we install the ESXi on the local disk right local disk attached to the ESXi host and it's partitioned with VMFS which is similar to NTFS in Windows it's a file system let's imagine we create a virtual machine so that virtual machine will be stored in your uh, data store 
either it's a local local data store or it can be in any of this form of data store right for achieving high availability and uh, using the clustering features we have to use the shared data store like a shan sand nash or icecc data store which should be shared um, between the multiple esxios let's not uh, talk about the clustering features now so imagine we have a local disk we created a data store whatever the virtual machines which we are creating will be sitting in the local disk so we need a data store for that then um, imagine if you want how you create a virtual machine so how can you install on windows or linux operating system you install any web application or db or anything so it needs to be talked to other virtual machine to access the services right so how does it goes right what is needed so basically um, you have a esxa host and you have a network adapter right so we have a cable which connects to your physical switch and in the esxa world there is something called a concept called virtual switch which functions similar to the physical switch okay so imagine uh, you have uh, another esxa host which connects to the same physical switch and esxa will have a virtual switch uh, will be created on the inside the esxa host so in each of the switch we we need a ports to connect the cable right in the virtual switch is a it's a logical component so how does the virtual machine like your laptop connecting to your physical switch via a cable how does uh, your virtual machine will connect to the virtual switch right so there is something imagine the cable is something called port groups so we create a logical grouping uh, of ports which is something called port groups and we'll create the port groups in top of uh, the virtual switches and in the virtual machine when we create a virtual machine we'll assign the network adapter to specific port group so via that port group the virtual machine whatever traffic it is sending imagine it is sending to uh, imagine we have other esxa host and uh, one of the virtual machine which is running it have a network adapter it connects to the physical switch so if this virtual machine want to talk to the other virtual machine in the other esxa host it comes via the network adapter virtual network adapter via the virtual switch will forward then the physical network adapter it comes to physical switch then the physical switch will forward the traffic to the another esxa host network adapter from there it will have its own uh, virtual switch in the esxa host then this virtual machine will be connected to the port groups the traffic will forward to the virtual machine so this is how the network will work there are a lot of things in the uh, you know like virtual networking so i will try to cover the basic in this video we'll talk about a lot of uh, advanced feature in an upcoming video and everything so we need a network adapter for communication right then what else we need are similar to the physical machine we need an uh, cpu we need an memory which the cpu will be taken out from your uh, physical hardware like e where the esx is installed and memory will be taken out from the uh, your physical hardware so it stores in the data store either in the local or uh, shared data store all these things so now we understand what and all we needed what are the things which we needed for uh, creating a virtual machine we need a we need a virtual network adapter we need a uh, local data store and we need an uh, um, <clears throat> what else cpu and computing everything comes from the area sxa host let's log in back to the host client so as i said when we uh, install the esxa host it will create an uh, one data store whatever the local disk you have it will create an data store from that local disk so where the esxa installed we can create a virtual machine store here but it's not recommended we cannot achieve the availability in that case we can create a data store as i said from the sand storage or something let's talk about i have an additional disk here with 400 gb uh, I'll, i'll show how to create a data store from the local uh, disk let's type some of the data store name i am i'm just typing uh, for understanding local data store 2 click on next so select the select the device a local disk which is attached to your esxa host we can also create a custom uh, part uh, like size i can define up for imagine i have 400 gb i can only create 200 gb out of that data store this is the vmfs version similar to ntfs in your uh, um, windows server windows server right similar so select the partition i am going to use the maximum partition like 400 gb and it will be partition with vmfs disk and all this information will be showing up click on finish so it will partition the entire disk into vmfs yes i am aware of it 
so local data store is created now we have a data store like a storage to to place the virtual machine which is creating the virtual machine is nothing but a group of files right the network next thing is a network so as i said when we install a esxa there will be a uh, default switch called vswitch0 will be created and there will be a uh, the, your network adapter whatever network adapter available in your esxa host the first network adapter will be attached to the vswitch0 so i have a adapter name called vmnic0 it is attached to the my virtual switch and it also have a port groups a default port group such as a vm network virtual machine network port group will be created and there will be another uh, port group called management network which will be for esxi management will be uh, created here right so i will show how to create a uh, how to create an port group in the virtual switch so go to networking uh, click on port groups click add port groups so we can specify the port group name here um let me define something uh, for understanding i'm specifying i think it's already there uh, let me put a different name uh, so we can specify the vlan id here and we can also specify which switch we want to create we can create on multiple virtual switches also so let's put the name differently demo iphone uh, maybe pg port group demo pg okay i'll keep this we can also specify the vlan id if you are how how does your vlan tagging is there so let's not confuse here click on add so we created a port group demo pg so we when we create a virtual machine we'll be storing in this data store we will attach that particular demo pg the port group into the virtual machine so that the virtual machine will communicate uh, to the outside world when it is running inside so i have as i said i have one physical network adapter then uh, i create i have a one virtual switch we can also create a multiple virtual switch and assign a different uplinks so if you have a multiple uh, adapters uh, we can also add a multiple adapter so i have only one network adapter we can go ahead and add uplink uplink is nothing but your network adapter where it provides uplink to your virtual machine to the external world right so i create a report group called demo pg uh, in the virtual switch and it have a uh, physical nick associated the virtual switch is associated with the physical nick um i think we are ready almost uh, so we created an uh, port group we have an uh, local data store and we have uh, uh, virtual switch and uh, all these things right we can also in the host client we can also configure the uh, services uh, esxi related services for example if you want to access the esxi host from the ssh using ssh putty or something we can enable the service we can also set the policy like either it should start with the, when if the firewall ports is open or it start to start with host when you restart the host the service the service will restart and it will start when the host comes back and uh, other important thing is like if if you are deploying a virtual machine you want your virtual machine to take the uh, time and date from your esxi host we can configure the ntp settings here so we can specify a startup policy like start and stop manually or start with host or either and provide the ntp server ip addresses we can give multiple ip address for redundancy so uh, i have specified the ntp services let's uh, start the ntp service so go back to the services click on ntp start yes that's it uh, we are uh, ready to create virtual machine uh, i will show how to create a virtual machine in the next video please do watch all our videos so in this video we have set up the initial storage we have created on the basic port groups and we have configured the services we understand how this virtual switch and networking works so please please do subscribe to the channel and please continue to watch vmware beginners tutorial i will be posting how to create virtual machine in the next video thank you so much bye bye please do subscribe